Okay, now that you've opened up your PNG in Photoshop and you can tell it has a transparent background because all these gray and white squares that are behind it. And just to just to check, because sometimes sometimes I've seen some weird stuff where you know you grab something off the internet and it says it's a PNG and it looks like it has transparent background, but uh but somebody took a screenshot of it or whatever, something weird. So I always just grab another layer, put it behind there, uh, switch to a brush, and make sure that I can paint behind it and everything's okay. So just that's just like my little step to verify that it is PNG and it is transparent background. So what we're going to want to do with this, just to make a simple and easy, all we're going to do is add another layer on top of this layer, and it's going to be a solid color or it can be whatever you want it to be. But in this case, we're going to do a solid color just for starters. And then we're going to apply a clipping mask to that layer. And that is going to attach whatever's in that layer only shows up where there's something on the layer below it. So we're going to put this layer below it and uh, we're going to do that here. So at the bottom right of the screen, if you follow my mouse down here to the bottom, you'll see this circle that is like cut in half here. So we'll click on that and we'll go to solid color here. And that'll bring up just whatever color you had selected last. So let's say we want to make it like this nice turquoise. And you can go around here and, you know, you can click any color you want. So we'll pick this nice blue color here. And as you can see, that made the whole screen, the whole, the whole artboard um, blue. And that's fine. That's what we want for now. And we're going to right click here, just out here in this gray area, just right click and hit create clipping mask here. So it's this, this one down here, I highlighted in red. So click that and presto changeo. That made everything here perfect. So anything that was transparent just continues to be transparent. And you'll see that now we have this little arrow pointing down out to the left and then down. Um, that is your little indicator letting you know that there's been a clipping mask applied to this and the layer is shifted to the right just slightly. So that says that anything that is below this layer will get this color here. And if you, if you decide later, like, Hey, I don't like this blue, like I wanted a red or whatever, just double click right here in this little thumbnail preview. And you can change this slider to any color you want as long as you want to. You can see like, uh, just like when you let go, it, it updates here to whatever color and you're good. So if you wanted it red, it could be red or it could be dark red or it could be whatever. So simple as that. Easy peasy. If you, you know, maybe you want a nice brown color, whatever, whatever floats your boat here is fine. So that's that. That's really easy. Anything we want to do there. Great. Now, if you, if you want to get a little bit more into this and you want to try different things, you can delete that and then just grab a new layer here and say you just wanted to brush that in. We'll start, oops, didn't mean to do that. Start with, uh, by creating a clipping mask on just this empty layer. And then anything that you brush on will only show up where that horse is. So if you wanted to paint something like this, you could go in here and you could paint and you could hit command Z to undo and get there. So if you, you know, say, you know, I've got all these things in here. And if you want to get a little crazy. You can basically do whatever you want. You can paint, 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 paint all you want. And, uh, and it would only show up here. So if you, if you like that, awesome. If you, if you want to take, you know, anything else and make it, it just, you know, whatever brush you use, it will, it will work on there. So you can, you can kind of paint in and have it like an airbrush or a soft round brush, whatever. And it will, it will just paint onto there. So that's handy. And that's, that works. This will work with all kinds of stuff too. If you want to do a gradient and you want to make this, um, some kind of wild gradient and you had these like iridescent colors. These are cool. Like this is very unicorny kind of colors, right? 
and you just created a clipping mask there too. You have to hit OK and then create a clipping mask. And then that only shows up on this unicorn here. And of course you can change the angle and you can still go back and change to a new, a new iridescent colors or whatever. So makes that really simple, really easy, straightforward way to make these, um, you know, silhouettes into colors really, really quick, really simple, easy. And then just export that again. You know, when you hit shift command S to save, just make sure you save it as a PNG and it will retain that nice transparent background and you can use it however you want to. So that's that.